Hi guys, it's Richard Lackey here. In this video I'm going to show you how I use Fusion in DaVinci Resolve to correct anamorphic lens distortion. Specifically you're seeing footage shot using the B-Script 1.55 anamorphic lens. I know some of you will be hesitant about this lens because of the distortion, but it can be corrected easily and that's what I'm going to show you how to do right now. Okay, so I have my edit here, you can see in the timeline, and first of all I'm going to show you an example of how I've corrected the distortion in this shot, uh, and then I'm going to break it down and rebuild it. So if I head to the Fusion tab down here, you'll see that I've only got two uh, Fusion tools, Fusion nodes in here, it's as simple as that. I've got one lens distort. Uh, tool here and I've got a transform tool here um, That's it and you can see on the right side of the screen the settings um, for the lens distort tool and Also for the transform tool and you can see up here in the preview window um, You can see here if I turn off the transform and I turn off the lens distort you can see what's happening here, so um, this is already um, uncorrected and if I just switch on the lens distort node you can see that it's it's bowing the, the edges here. Now I'm only correcting the uh, vertical distortion here not the horizontal uh, bowing that's very characteristic of anamorphic footage and really doesn't bother me. Um, I'm just correcting the vertical uh, distortion so that anything vertical in the shot, any vertical lines uh, appear straight and don't uh, curve. So I can turn that tool off and on and you can see what it's doing there. And then if I finally turn the transform tool back on it just zooms in a little bit to crop off those curved edges in the correction. So let's show you how to do this. I'm first of all going to delete what I've done here. So you'll see here you've got a media in and a media out. This is your source, this is your output or your destination and obviously the input is directly connected to the output. We don't have any tools here, we don't have any processing going on. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to add tool. I'm going to come down here to the warp and I'm going to find my lens distort tool here and I'll just add it in there. I'm going to do the same, add tool, come down to transform, find my transform tool and place it there. Now it's just a case of connecting these up like this and then putting in the right values into the tools. So. I have no idea if these values are technically correct. Um, they're just values that um, I found worked by playing around. Um, so uh, up here, these top settings I just kind of left alone. So mode is undistort, uh, edges and clipping mode, I don't really mess with that. Um, there's many different models here. Again, I didn't really uh, experiment too much with any of them. I just used this 3DE Classic LD model. Um, and basically by trial and error and playing around with this, um, I found these values. Um, so curvature X 
in this case needs to be 0 0.262 uh, and you can see what that's done to the preview image here there's a couple other things we need to do um, down here in camera settings so uh, film gate I'm putting uh, HD 16 to 9 um, aperture width I'm putting at 1.28 and you can see already what's happening in the preview window and aperture height at 0 0.45 um, and you can see that's my correction so um, again I don't know if mathematically this is a hundred percent correct into optically for the lens um, but it's good enough for me so next I'm going to need to punch into this slightly uh, to lose the um, curves now on on those edges so I'm going to go into the transform node um, and I'm basically just going to increase the size here um, to 1.05 and that's about it um, and these are the two nodes and the settings that you can then apply to any shot in the timeline which needs the uh, lens distortion correction now I've found that I only need to correct when the anamorphic lens is over the wide angle um, phone lens, phone camera um, when I've got the anamorphic lens over the telephoto camera the distortion's not really noticeable, it's not so bad at all um, so um, you can see here if I turn off and on the corrections, of course the color grading is here as well but um, you'll see that that distortion correction. To me that makes a difference. Um, I prefer to uh, correct this distortion and that's how I do it. So hopefully it works for you. If you're trying to do this with a different anamorphic lens like maybe the Moondog Labs or something that's uh, 1.33 times then the values uh, to use in, in the uh, node may change. Um, you'll have to check but for me with the 1.55 B-script anamorphic lens, this is how I've corrected that distortion. Uh, yeah, so that's it. And thanks for watching. And let me know any questions you have uh, in the comments and I'll try my best to answer. And go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more. Uh, there's more coming up. And thanks for watching. Bye for now.